morning and welcome to today's products in focus. So having a quick look at the US 30 to kickstart things off, we had a bit of a negative session there on Friday. We were higher and more profit by the end of the day, only then for the, um, the bulls to kind of run out of steam and go into negative territory. So quite, again, quite a negative candle to have there on Friday. That's been followed through today with more downwards momentum. We're currently trading towards the bottom of the range. With 17,561 be the next potential support. Uh, but the question is, will that uh, be able to hold or is this merely just a retracement before we re-challenge 17,747 again? You can see the MACD histogram has declining bars indicating a loss of momentum. So we're getting quite close to potentially a negative crossover. Whereas we do have a sell signal on the slow stochastic and uh, on the RSI, sorry, and the slow stochastic there, it's slowly drifting down, slight divergence visible here with the price action moving higher and the slow stochastic moving lower. So there could be, it has had an incredible run for all of October. So it'll be interesting to see how much pressure needs to come out of this rally before we can move up higher. And certainly in the backdrop of uh, global growth concerns, the market is crying out for more uh, quantitative easing in China and the Eurozone and Japan, uh, and it's not quite had it yet. So let's see what happens next. Looking at the UK 100, a more aggressive move between Thursday uh, and Friday, and we've gapped lower this morning with 62, basically 6,300 being the potential support. Very, very top heavy here. Trading below the 21 period SMA, but still above the 55. We've already had the negative cross on the uh, on the MACD, and we had that negative uh, negative sell signal and slow stochastic, probably in about mid-October. So the UK market already further along in this negative trajectory rather than the US 30. Um, so quite quite interesting for the UK 100. Right, looking at Japan 225. Uh, again, quite a, kind of an ugly candle to have on the Friday. Uh, didn't sell off quite as harshly as the US market did towards the end of its session. Managed to bounce back before the close. Uh, had ticked its head a little bit higher, um, but has moved lower this morning. It's already bounced off 18,648. Uh, which seems to be uh, an important level. We are still trading above both moving averages. MACD histogram is slowing. We've almost got a sell signal and slow stochastic, but not yet. But Japan 225 is probably briefly supported by the fact that there could be monetary policy changes, which would cause that index to spike up. So a lot of traders don't want to be short on Japan 225 when there could be uh, quantitative action on the table. So looking at dollar yen, uh, you can see that we had a, a flight to safety on Friday where the equity market sold off. Traders bought the yen at the expense of the US dollar. And we're now trading about 120 spot 55, which the market has been oscillating around here for our last couple of sessions. Um, as ever, dollar yen has been in the flat formation for some weeks, uh, almost two, two whole months now. Uh, and it'd be interesting to see if we maintain this kind of kind of wave formation between 119 and almost 122. Um, certainly from a trader's perspective, markets like this can be quite interesting to trade, uh, especially if they're easily identifiable. So moving on to West Texas crude, which had a fantastic session there on Wednesday after inventory data came in much worse than expected. And the uh, FOMC uh, talked about raising rates in December or the possibility that it'd be discussed anyway. Uh, an okay session there on Friday, not doing too much today looks to be that 45 spot 85 could be uh, a kind of an oscillation point also for crude. Moving on to gold, uh, gold's been getting destroyed recently. Now we've had the FOMC basically mention that December could be the uh, month for liftoff. Gold doesn't like higher interest rates in the US very much at all. But 11.38 is a potential support, which also coincides with the 55 period SMA. Other technicals are falling off a cliff right now. Uh, but 11.38 is strategically important. If we break and close below that, that opens up a move much lower towards 1,098. So pretty much a $40 move should that eventuality happen. Then looking at Euro dollar and GBP USD, Euro dollars were tracing back up to one spot 11 as the dollar ran out of steam. Uh, we gapped higher this morning, so the Euro gained a little bit of extra strength at the expense of the US dollar. But with the fundamentals um, out there behind a potential December rate hike and the ECB potentially looking to embark on QE at some point, any rally on euro dollar might, uh, might struggle under the pressure of those fundamentals. 
So one spot 11 will be strategically important as a resistance level for euro dollar. So looking at GBP USD, uh, a fantastic session there on Friday, busting up above one spot 54.24. Uh, a bit of negativity so far this morning, but looks to be just a retracement. One spot 54.24 could be the launch pad for a move towards one spot 56, or if it fails, a move back down to one spot 51.85 could be on the cards. So economic data wise, we had we slightly beat expectations for the PMI data out of China this morning. Um, we've got the UK housing index later on today, followed by more PMI data for the Eurozone, the UK, Germany, and the US. And if we finish up there with Tuesday and Wednesday, Tuesday, not a huge amount of exciting data. Wednesday gives you more PMI data from China again, uh, and actually a whole host of other ones from MarketServe. Uh, then you've got ADP private payrolls on Wednesday because we've got non-farm payrolls this Friday. Uh, that's coming about pretty quickly. Then we've got US trade balance data, and then we're finishing up with the uh, ISM numbers from uh, the US, and then that weekly petroleum report because it's crude oil Wednesday. Remember what happened last Wednesday? Big spike up in West Texas crude because those figures came on came in a little short. Um, so a lot of people who are trading crude will be watching this with great interest. But remember, non-farm payrolls this Friday. You've got the ADP private payrolls, uh, the precursor on Wednesday, and uh, we'll see what happens then. So as ever, keep your eye on the chart forum. Lots of cool analysis from our uh, UK team here. You've got uh, Michael and Jasper doing lots of updates. Make sure you make insights part of your layout. Lots of very useful CMC specific updates here from our global teams about what's impacting the markets today. And join me again tomorrow to find out what happened next.